Hi, thanks for hanging out. In this video, I've got a pair of antique wooden boat oars that I need to mount and I'll show you how I do it. Let's get after it. There are several ways that I could mount these oars to the wall. I'm going to use leather straps and loop them around the oars themselves and then attach the strap to the wall. I've gone and bought a belt blank from a local leather shop here where I live. It's around about 40 millimeters wide or about an inch and a half wide. And I've got 1.5 meters or around about five feet of belt to be able to use. So I'm going to cut these into strips around about 30 centimeters long or 12 inches long, and then punch a hole in each end to be able to loop around the oar and then attach it to the wall like that. I'll mark out each length that I need square with the edge of this belt blank that'll be more than adequate for what I need. I've got a four and a half millimeter punch to use for the holes in each end which is around about three sixteenths of an inch and to cut the lengths I'll use these good quality seamstress shears or scissors to be able to cut the leather which I think will do a good job. That's one done and I'm happy with how that turned out. Let's get the other three done and get these oars mounted. I've now got my two pairs of straps cut to length with the holes punched in the end. I'm going to use some car leather conditioner to give them a little bit of nourishment. I've got a clean microfiber towel here to be able to apply it. Here's a first look at the oars we're going to display. My father-in-law keeps an eye out for items that would go well with our house here near the river. And when these came up, we jumped at the chance to get them. They're a great pair of oars for this particular use. They aren't serviceable anymore and the aged look and weathering are absolutely fantastic. We're not sure of the exact age of them. We do know they must have been out in the weather for many, many years to get that distressed. The oar stops and pins we want to remove, they're not part of the look we want and the oars will sit flatter against the wall without them. 
I wasn't sure how easily they would come off or whether the patina underneath would match the rest of the ore. There's two screws holding each of them on and with a bit of a wriggle they came off fairly easily. We were pleased to see that the patina was almost identical underneath and they'll look great as is. Using straps is one of many ways that these could be mounted. You could sit them on a cupped bracket, use a collar that could be tightened to hold them firmly or if you wanted to you could screw them directly to the wall. Our choice is largely aesthetic and mounting them horizontally they don't need to be fixed in place for any extra support. We roughed out the layout of the straps and the distance between each oar. We set the oars about 45 centimetres or 18 inches apart and the straps far enough apart to be centred and still on the straight section of the oar shaft which will make mounting them easier. I've already centred the spacing for the straps on the wall and determined the height of the top oar. Here I'm measuring down to where the second oar will be mounted ready to drill the holes. The wall lining these are mounted to is only 3mm thick plywood or about an eighth of an inch thick and where I'm mounting them I don't have wall studs to fix to either. I'm using these gravity toggles that will give me a larger surface area for the fixing to pull on. I'll drill a pilot hole first to help me get the 13mm or half inch bit started and through the wall. I took the screw out of each toggle and fed it through the holes in the leather strap, then reattached the toggle before feeding it through the hole in the wall. With some help to hold the end of the oar, they went in okay with a little push. Ideally the hole could have been slightly larger. The toggles didn't drop in the wall straight away, the insulation in the wall stopped this from happening. I grabbed a small screwdriver and had enough room through the hole to push the toggle down properly. From there I can tighten the screws until the toggle pulls up against the back of the wall. These didn't need a lot of tension, I only made them slightly firmer than finger tight, enough to stop the straps from being able to move easily. Here's a close up of the finished strap. We like the brass colour of the toggles against the dark brown of the leather and the black of the oars. We're really happy with the overall result. The colour and condition of the oars was exactly what we were looking for and we love the colour and the way the straps have turned out. With the size of the oars, the straps, the sofa and the wall, we're also really pleased with the set out of the oars. We think they look great. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and may have got an idea or some help from it. Any questions or comments please feel free to leave those below and until next time remember, life's short so get after it.